Hello everyone and welcome. Hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, viewers, and families out there. Thank you guys so much for joining in. We have some big changes happening on the channel, some um, kind of reforming things to best suit your guys' needs. Okay. Also have some announcements. I'm going to be uploading a video announcing some events that will be out this summer. So look out for that information. If you would like to get entered into our drawing, if you would like more messages, you are more than welcome to subscribe. All the information for booking a personal reading, um, playlists that I've put together for you guys, all that information is down below in the description box. So feel free to check that out. It's created for you guys. So today we are going to take a look at your monthly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces. We are going to use the as above, so below spread for this monthly reading. So let's get started. Jump in with the good tarot to kind of tap into the energies around you, Pisces. And then we will um, move into the meat of the message. Let's say a little blessing before we get started. Please, Spirit, we thank you for a message of guidance and love for our subscribers. Please allow a clear and concise message to guide us through whatever we need to hear. Please protect the viewer and I from any negative energies coming through. Again, we thank you, Spirit. Blessed be. Alright, let's see, guys. Let's see. Most important message here for Pisces for the month of March. In this reading, we are going to take a look at what to be prepared for, what to embrace, advice moving forward, what to work on releasing, and if there's anything new coming in. So let's take a look, Pisces, for you for the month of March. Most important message here for Pisces spirit. threes three of earth three of fire three of earth queen of air let me just double check make sure this was it the hermit on the bottom collaboration i just heard collaboration for, for whoever that's resonating with so what I get here, Pisces, is you're coming out of this hermit mode. Um, you may have taken a step back from society, people, places, and things um, to focus on yourself, the things that you, you need to take care of, things that you need to handle. I feel like um, you're coming into an opportunity where you're going to be able to um, build a solid foundation, collaborate with somebody. I do feel like this is a very important opportunity here with the three of fire, the three of pentacles. The queen of air in this deck symbolizes setting boundaries, um, setting practical boundaries, being logical with your expectations of yourself as well as others. Okay, so let's take a look here what we can see for you for March Pisces, because I do feel like there's going to be some type of collaboration, something where you're going to be working together. So let's see, we're going to use the golden tarot. Most important message here for Pisces. What does Pisces need to see for the month? Of March. What does Pisces need to see? Three of Pentacles, Three of Swords just showed with the Knight of Wands. So you could have in the past dealt with um, some player type of energy, some in and out, back and forth, right? That was hurtful caused a lot of sadness, caused a lot of pain. Let's see. 
first couple cards we're going to take here, Pisces, are going to be what to prepare for moving forward. So let's see. Most important message here for Pisces spirit. What does Pisces need to see for the month of March? What does Pisces need to be prepared for this month? Please and thank you, Spirit. What does Pisces need to prepare for? What does Pisces need to prepare for? Please and thank you. Two of Cups with the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands is like a defensive type of energy. It's feeling as if everybody's against you, okay? And um, being very cautious of everything. Really having your guard up. Um, also could be no communication, okay? Or lacking communication. I feel like the Two of Cups is symbolizing this collaboration that's coming in this is what you need to be prepared for pisces and i feel like right now you're blocking this opportunity because of this defensive type of energy so let's see let's get a couple cards here for what to embrace what to embrace this month moving forward Most important message here for Pisces. In action. Not moving forward. Let's see. I thought another card flipped, but maybe not. Nope, that's it. So there may be um, a little bit of an imbalance, okay? That could be why the hermit is coming up is there's a need here to go within to kind of um, gain clarity. Maybe on this past situation, that past heartache, the pain that I was picking up from the past situation. Page of Wands, proceed with caution. Pay attention to the details also um, is the page, the symbol of the page of wands. And then we have page of pentacles. So um, messages coming in, messages coming in maybe from this collaboration. Okay. And we're going to get clarification on all this stuff for you guys. So stay tuned guys. Um, with the page of pentacles page of wands i really feel here like there is some type of message that may i feel like it's going to um it's going to come in very solid very grounded but i feel like here pisces there's a bit of questioning here cautionary a tale for you so maybe this is from somebody who um is interactive with the past person let's see what does pisces need to release here spirit what does pisces need to release for the month of march Seven of Cups. I feel like there's a lot of confusion, a lot of questioning here. And this, it's kind of blocking this opportunity that's coming in. I feel like you're also a little bit stubborn about this as well. You're, you're kind of holding on to this. And what the cards are saying here, what spirit is saying here, Pisces, is it's time to release this confusion. 
you have learned the lessons that you needed to learn in order to make the, dis the right decision moving forward. You're going to be able to tell if this person is good or bad by not ignoring the warning signs. Okay, not ignoring the warning signs. Let's take a look at a new, the new path coming in. Queen of Swords with the Temperance. And the Hermit is on the bottom of this deck. So again, there's still this need to go within and heal, introspect. Um, and I feel like I was saying with the good tarot, with the oracle side of the message, that you could have been healing from the situation. I don't feel like this, this painful situation that you've endured, I don't feel like that's brand new. Maybe within the last few months, um, that's taken place, okay? I do feel like there is some inaction, okay? There's a lot of, there's a, some blockages here that you're going to have to work through this month, okay? So being mindful of that will help with the process. Let's get clarification on this spread for Pisces, please. And thank you. The Two of Cups and Seven of Wands, please, Spirit. Please clarify the Two of Cups with the Seven of Wands for Pisces. There's some illusions surrounding this partnership here. That's why you're a little bit defensive. Let's get a little bit more information out here. Maybe this is a person, this collaboration is a person who is from your past that um, caused some pain, caused some heartache. One more card here, Spirit, for the Two of Cups, Seven of Wands, the Moon. Does Pisces need to know about the situation? I also feel like you intuitively can sense this. You may not have practical information, you know, circumstantial evidence or whatever on this moon card here. The Nine of Wands over the Seven of Wands. So yes, this illusion surrounding this collaboration. Mm -hmm. Let's get the chariot in reverse here, spirit. Hanged man. I feel like there is a, a change in perspective that's needed. I feel like you may feel that like you have to stay in a situation. Maybe you guys have children together. Um, maybe you guys have some type of business dealings or something together and you're, you feel like you need to stay in this connection, but you are not by any means bound and tied. I feel like these messages are going to come in about a new opportunity, okay? And this new opportunity is going to be closer to something that you, a more grounded, a more stable offer, okay? I feel like you're still going to be cautionary when it comes to this opportunity. Um, what to release is this past situation. This past situation that was causing confusion, causing a lot of pain, 
in your life. They may very well be the person who was stubborn and wanting things only their way. Maybe they, they have this approach to life that it's my way or the highway. Okay, and that's not really serving. That doesn't allow for any growth anywhere. I do feel here, Pisces, that you may, from time to time, um, in your lonely states, go back to this situation, um, thinking shoulda, coulda, woulda. A lot of times that happens when it is a toxic relationship because they're always going to be there. Right? They're always going to come back around. They're always going to try to put their foot in the door um, to try to get what they want out of the situation. Okay, I feel like this new opportunity that's coming in, it's going to be more of a collaboration. Okay, And I feel like that's probably why I was hearing collaboration at the beginning of the reading is this this reading is heavy in this collaboration. So whether this is a business partnership, again, um, and that's what I'm feeling. I, I'm feeling like there's some type of business connection here. Um, now, this may very well be intertwined with a partnership, and that very well could have been one of the lessons that you learned here, Pisces, is never to mix business with pleasure. I do feel like this new opportunity is going to be more stable, more grounded collaboration. It's not going to be one-sided um, like it was in the past. Take some time this month, okay? Focus, be mindful that you're still in this, there's still some blockages that you need to work through. Maybe there's still some releasing of this past situation. Uh, you're going to have to have a conversation maybe to get some closure or block the person completely. Whatever the case may be here, um, you're going to have to, I feel, release this past situation and just fully focus on the future. I am going to do an extended reading on this Pisces if that's something you guys are interested in. I am going to take a look at your partner, this new opportunity, what the intentions are, and we'll take a look at a little bit deeper into how to release this past situation, right? What steps we can take moving forward. If it's something you're interested in, the link will be below in the description box. Power thought card. I claim my own power. I lovingly create my own reality. I ask for more understanding so that I may knowingly and lovingly shape my world and my experiences. Beautiful. So... Pisces, that is the message I have coming out for you guys for the month of March. Thank you so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. And I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.